What up, Hyperchange? Okay, what's up? Uh, happy Valentine's Day, spread the love. Not too chill right now because look, I had to, this were not easy to get. This is a brand new 4680 cell from Tesla. If you've been following Hyperchange in the channel, you know how obsessed I am with this, what this means to me, a representation of Tesla taking stuff. It, like, I just, I feel like I'm holding history and like, we all knew this was coming. This has been years in the making. Tesla bring battery cell production house. This is the piece of technology that in my opinion is the single most important thing that will solve climate change is commercializing cheap, efficient, scalable batteries that will proliferate electric technology around the world. This is why I'm trying to build hype to batteries. You're like, oh my God, it's a fancy Duracell pretty much. But why should you care about this? Because this is this single product right here designed by Tesla and Elon Musk from Cato Road in Silicon Valley has the potential and probably probably will change our civilization as we know it by bringing down this is this everyone talks about the moment where electric uh, vehicles get you know cost competitive with with fossil fuel cars um, where electric vehicles like that true inflection point happens what that requires is technology and that's what this represents so I'm not really trying to leak it like this was really hard to get I literally had to create a time machine go to the future buy a Tesla tear it apart at Sandy Monroe's house come back and then now I had to come back to the past and show y'all the 4680 cell. So straight up had to go to the future to get this. But, um, and what the innovation here is, right? This is real. And I got two of them. I know you're like, damn, guy, that's not even real. It's real. Elon knows. Look at this. It's real 4680. Like, and if it's like, dude, if I can get these, you know, they're making so many of these. You know, and this is what I've been talking about. The biggest risk factor of Tesla stock is can you scale this battery technology? The biggest constraint that Tesla has, that every company has, for the 4680, uh, for their cars, how do you make more batteries? And so the biggest to me, FSD is extremely important. And the reason why Elon's probably not talking too much about the 4680 when you think about Tesla is because they've already solved the 4680. It's right here. They have a million of these at, at uh, Cato Road. They've been pumping them out. They're going to start sending them to Austin as in the meantime, as they shut up the machines for Austin. So what's so special about this battery? So this right here, as you can see, and I didn't even know this because I'm like, okay, so this is uh, the, the top of the tabless cell right there. And you see that part right there? I'm not going to break it open because I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't want to blow up. So if you, um, so this is a replica cell. This is not the real one, but the replica cell, shout out to my homie and Ballard, Ian, who made this Mach 2. Look at this. So this is what the, the big innovation is. Instead of this tiny wire, the entire top of the battery is this cell. This is my replica, but the real one right here, see, I got... I got them all right here. Yeah. Um, but the real one right here, I, it looks like all of those foils go through and connect at that top part right there. So this is it. Um, it's kind of just feels like a big Duracell. I'm not going to lie. But but the innovation here, and, and the other big thing about this that I think is so cool about the battery is this is a structural piece of the car. So, and, and many people are like, oh, Tesla's technology is the best. This is why if you buy anything but a Tesla, I think you're tripping because you're overpaying for shitty technology. When you buy a Tesla, you are just bang for your buck in terms of technology getting insane stuff. First of all, Tesla's got the most efficient EVs on the road right now, but that's with the 2170. That's with a, a battery pack that's like, basically just a huge battery on the bottom of the car that they have to like compensate for. So the difference between this, it's not just the battery, is a structural battery pack. So that is a game changer because this will allow the actual batteries of the car to function as part of the structure of the vehicle. So this means you're not carrying around like dead weight of the batteries, they're actually the structure. And so this will be a first principles advantage of why you're able to create an electric vehicle um, that is cheaper, that is lighter, that uses less raw materials, that can go faster. Like this is why I'm so man, I'm, it's so frustrating for me when I talk to people about Tesla who don't like it, who don't support it, because like the layers of innovation they go through to make their technology more sustainable, um, like this is such a big leap. No, ba The battery industry was not dominated by Tesla. It was dominated by all these players like Panasonic, by all these people who weren't innovating at all. And all of a sudden Tesla says, we're going to create the biggest innovation in the battery industry in decades, even though we're not a battery company, we're going to do it in-house. Nobody believed they could do it. Nobody believed they were going to ramp it. And we are weeks away we are weeks away from the first car ever being delivered with an in-house Tesla built battery cell that is gonna be having like a hundred of these in the pack. Like that is a monumental milestone for Tesla. A mo like I'm so, I don't know. It's just been incredible to watch the layers of vertical integration and to Elon actually do what he says and own this mantra of bringing all the tech in house and innovating at every single layer. Like I just can't like, 
I don't know. I just can't even fathom it. So um, I just think this is a huge moment and I, I'm not trying to like leak it or do any specs. I don't want to do anything bad to Tesla. If, if they don't want me to do this, then they should tell me and I can like dispose of them or whatever. But um, I kind of wanted to spread the hype for batteries because I think people don't get excited enough about these technological advancements. You talk, see Elon talking about the news and it's like, everything's bad news. Like there's no good news. And I'm like, this is like the dope news that we should all be excited about that Tesla's commercialize this battery cell um, it's going to be in cars. It's going to change the world. They're, they're giving this to Panasonic. The entire auto industry is going to need this. Um, and what excites me the most about this is when I look at this, I don't just look, I see the Model Y or the Cybertruck or the Tesla semi-truck. I see everything. I see everything around me that burns fossil fuels. I see lawnmowers. I see leaf blowers. I see like everything. I see motorcycles. I see planes. I see ships. This ha technology has the potential to electrify all of that. And so... Um, that's why this is so important. That's why I spent years of my life obsessing over Tesla's battery technology, how fast it was improving, how fast they could proliferate it. And this is the sort of holy grail of all of it. This is sort of the pièce de résistance of Tesla's battery skunk works that they've developed. And this isn't the last thing that they're going to do. They're going to keep innovating. They're going to keep disrupting. But this is the pièce de résistance of 10 to 15 years of work that will culminate in to right now, one to 2% of our, all, all cars sold are electric, right? With this, it's gonna be 100% with this technology. So this is the, I don't know, I, I'm kind of like, I just wanna share it with y'all because I'm so stoked. And I'm actually about to podcast right now in like 20 minutes, so I gotta bounce, with The Limiting Factor, who I think is the smartest YouTuber in the world about battery technology. Uh, he is gaining r rapport I mean, amongst like academics for his work. So you probably already know him if you watch my channel, but let me know what you think right now, live stream, comments. What do you wanna know about this cell? I'm literally about to record an hour long podcast all about this cell. Um, everything about why it's so disruptive, how they're going to build it, how they're going to scale it, all of that stuff. Um, but I think as a Tesla investor, uh, yo, thanks for the super chat. Trying to keep it real with y'all, right? I love just the fact that, um, y'all are with me on this journey because who cares about batteries? This is so nerdy and now everyone cares about it and I love it. Um, and like, it's pretty heavy. I don't know about the weight. I'm not, I know I'm not doing good with like the stats and stuff. I'm just kind of showing you it. It's not, I'm going to be honest. Like this kind of feels like when I got a pet turtle, like I was so excited and then I held it. And I was like, okay, what's it going to do? Like, is it going to, is it going to, so... <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, all right. I'm, I'm losing productivity. I'm about to bounce, but I'm going to record this podcast. Um, Tesla's ramping the 4680. It's happening. We're in a new era of electrification. The 4680 is here. It's 2022. Happy Valentine's Day. I love y'all. I'm so hyped. See you next time. Peace.